Welcome. Today's lesson is on alfalfa hay judging. We're going to be concentrating on visual inspection of hay, primarily because uh, many of you out there feed by hand. Uh, you'll feed a flake at a time or a, a, a bale at a time. So we're going to concentrate on that. And in particular, uh, before we actually get started into it, I just want to let some, some some groundwork for you. In California, we have certain quality designations that I want you to know as you're uh, looking at a, a variety of different samples. Uh, so right now, I'm going to do is just talk a little bit about the generalities of, of visual inspection. And then I'll make another video on actually how to uh, judge it. So I'll be putting out samples, and then, of course, you will be practicing judging it and, and placing it. Uh, when we're looking at California's uh, quality designations, we have essentially a, a four areas. First of all is premium. The premium hay tends to be pre-bud or pre-bloom stage. And it, it's going to be low in fiber, or ADF. And I'll get to those designations a little bit later. And also with soft, fine stems. They should have high energy and also protein content. And uh, it's going to be very high percentage of, of leaves and lower percentage of stems. We need a good green color, good leaf attachment, great color, and of course free from any kind of grasses or weeds or no noxious weeds. It's well cured. That means it's dried properly and of course no mold. That would be considered a premium blend of hay. The second category um, of quality designations in California is what we call good. It has a TDN of 52 to 54%, and I'll talk a little bit more about what TDN means in a, in a moment, and an ADF between 29 to 32%. That, me, that has to do with the fiber content. It should be between pre-bloom to early bloom stage of maturity, low to medium fiber, um, and, and with, with soft stems. High energy of protein content and a high percentage of leave, leaves uh, to a medium stem, uh, stem content. With a good green color, fairly free of grasses and weeds, no noxious weeds, and of course, well cured. All right, the third category in the quality designations here in California is what we would call fair. It's mid to late bloom. Um, it's also medium um, to high in fiber content with coarse stems and also low to moderate energy with a high amount of, of, of protein content. Usually a lower percentage in leaves than we've seen in the other two and a little bit higher percentage of stems in, in uh, that hay. It's also fair to pour in color with a fair leaf attachment um, with a little bit of leaf shatter low to moderate uh, grass and weed contents, and also well cured. And the, AT, uh, the ATF uh, should be about 32 to 37%, and of course 29 to 52% in TDN. Now the last uh, category, well, is kind of speaks for itself. It's, it's poor. It has less than 37% of, of fiber, um, I'm sorry, 37% or more fiber and about 49% or less of, of total digestible nutrients. It tends to be a, a, a feed that you're going to have to supplement probably because it's not very high in TDN. It's not well cured. It might have a lot of weeds. It might be very coarse. So that would be a poor category. Now let's take a look at the things that we judge really well with uh, in terms of eyesight or visually, and things we maybe we don't. So that should give you an idea of why a lot of folks uh, in, in the United States are going primarily to the um, lab analysis uh, type of, of hay judging. So let's take a look at uh, some of the things we really do well. One of the things we, we do very well, because we can see it well, is the color as well as the odor. That way we sell it, we can, we can smell it, uh, not necessarily see it. Um, but we're pretty good at judges of color, dark green, etc. But those don't always give very good results in terms of quality hay either. Um, obviously the odor could. Also, texture and condition. That means how well was it cured? Um, is, is, are, are, are the uh, stems thick or coarse? Or are they fine? Are, are they soft? Are they hard? So, uh, for instance, here's an, an, an example of a hay that we can tell. Oh, that's not very good. It's, it's got mold on it. Um, that's easy to tell because of the smell and, of course, the sight. The next uh, category um, that we do fair at is the sleepiness. We're pretty good at judging kind of the density or the amount of leafiness but we're not we can't really tell exactly uh, in terms of protein 
content, what that le leaves me like. For instance, this is a relatively leafy um, uh, um, bale or flake of hay. But you'll notice that there are some coarser stems than others uh, in, in that. So we can say this probably has a fair amount of crude protein, but we don't know for sure uh, because we're not uh, we not we're not able to take what that leaf is in terms of the amounts and calculate it to a percentage. So the third thing that we're we're uh, kind of poor at is determine the growth stage. Like for instance, if we go out in the field and see this, and we say, "Oh, that looks like about forty percent bloom." Well, we're not good at the percentage part, especially out in a large field, and, and even in just in just one bale. So we're not very good at the growth stage to to determine the bloom uh, stage or maturity stage. And then the last thing we're we're pretty good at, not great, but the fiber and protein content. However, when we look at this hay in particular, we see that there's a lot of stem and leaf. We see a lot more leaf than we do stem, so we see, we're pretty good with ratios in, in that terms. So if I were to look at this and judge it, I, I would say it probably had a pretty fair crude protein uh, amount with high amounts of total digestible nutrients, or TDN. Um, and if it, it, that's probably medium coarseness. So I, I would say it's probably in the good category in terms of its uh, uh, hay quality. So those are the things that, that we, we tend to, to see. Now let's explain some of these terms. For instance, what is ADF? Um, ADF is really, when we're looking at all of this, it, it happens to be a, a good judge of fiber. So when we take a look at it, the acid detergent fiber, uh, it goes through a process whereby we can determine the percentage of, of um, a non-digestible thing. So as ADF goes up, digestibility goes down. And, and vice versa. So if we if we take a look at this right here, we can see this hay right here. Um, we can see this is probably a low ADF, uh, primarily because it's very uh, fine stemmed hay. Uh, it's very leafy. Leaf is where you find most of the protein. So the digestible nutrients are going to be in the leaves for the most part. The stuff that's not digestible is going to be in the uh, fiber, in the cellulose, in the hemicellulose, in the structure of the stems. So you can see that. Now, if you look above it, this is a grass hay. And yeah, it's going to be probably a little bit more in the fiber content, um, but lower in protein because the leaves don't carry a lot of protein. The leaves in alfalfa are anywhere between 30 to 50 percent, and in in uh, in grains and grasses, it's around 10 percent. So um, uh, the ADF on this, by the way, is going to probably be a little bit on the low side. Now, if we go over to this hay over here, you'll notice that the stems are much coarser, much thicker. That's going to be have a higher ADF than this hay. Uh, this one, because of the fine stem, probably softer. It's going to be eat more easily digestible. That one doesn't mean it's a bad hay. It's just going to be a little less digestible, maybe even a little less palatable. And then we got one right here in the middle. Got a little of both. We got uh, some medium stemness. Uh, we've got some coarse stems. And we also have some fine stems. And the leaves are not as as prevalent as actually not as densely packed. So this is a, a good to fair probably kind of of, of hay. All right, let's take a look at the next term. The next term is total digestible nutrients, TDN. When you're evaluating hay, this is a very important one. ADF, TDN, kind of an opposite ends of the spectrum, but still very, very important. If we take a look at total digestible nu nutrients, we're really talking about, well, the amount of stuff uh, that are, is digestible. Like, for instance, proteins, carbohydrates, fats. All of that has to be in, in, in consideration for what is it going to be a good hay. So let's take a look at what we have here. I've already talked a little bit about the ADF. For instance, this one probably has the most amount of TD in, in the three samples that we see. It's very leafy. It's where most of the nutrients are. The stems tend to be fine or soft. So it, it doesn't um, necessarily need a lot of bacteria to break it down. So there's a lot of available nutrients in those stems as well as um, the actual leaves themselves. This is also a good hay. It's very leafy. It's very dense with leaves. Um, and, and so there's going to be a lot of total digestible nutrients locked up in those leaves. When we look at over here, 
the leaves aren't as prevalent, aren't as dense, aren't a as accessible. It might have a leaf attachment uh, problem where the leaves fall off as you feed it. Um, so TDN, total digestible nutrients, extremely important in when we're looking at quality hay. Okay, let's talk about a few other terms. Like, for instance, one of them is, is stem. And when I'm talking about stem, I'm talking about basically um, the parts that hold the plant together. And the stems are the things uh, that hold the leaves together. Um, it has, of course, attaches uh, the flowers and those kind of things. And, and that's really important because the stems have the carbohydrates, the hemicellulose uh, the, and, and the cellulose and the lignin, um, that's kind of the skeleton for the plant, but it's also the thing that doesn't digest well. So uh, when we take a look at stems, we're took it look, looking at a couple different things. Fine stemmed, coarse stemmed, medium stemmed. The ones that are coarse stemmed are, are have a very high uh, TDN, or excuse me, ADF and low uh, TDN. Uh, the fine stemmed uh, types of, of, of hay are going to be high in TDN, uh, low in ADF. So, for instance, again, we look at this one, very, very dense, relatively fine stemmed, but not as fine stemmed as this one. That's very small stemmed, it's fine, it's easy to break down in uh, the ruminous digestive system. Now, over here, when we look at it, it's really stemmy. It doesn't have that leaf to stem ratio. We want a high leaf to stem ratio so that we get more leaves and stems, and that means there's more TDN and less ADF. Um, not to say that's a bad hay, but if we were to look at all of these samples together, this one has probably the best overall uh, high leaf to stem ratio. Uh, so there's more leaves and stems. This is probably second, that's third, and that one's probably fourth. I'm not really trying to judge them, just give you an idea of what's, what's happening here. Now another term I'd like to introduce to you is a uh, crude protein, CP. There's crude protein and, and digestible protein. So I want to talk about the crude protein today. Again, when we take a look at this one right here, that doesn't have a lot of crude protein in it because it doesn't have very many leaves. The protein is in the leaves. And these three are, are probably all three very good in crude protein because the amount of leaves in it. Uh, this one looks pretty dense and thick. Uh, this one's not bad. It's a little bit more... Um, leafy or loose kind of, of hay and this is really tightly packed as well so these three right here have a higher cp or crude protein than this crude protein is basically the total amount of protein um and, and then after you get rid of some of the fiber content the adf then we talk about digestible protein so i'm going to move on to the next one and there are some other considerations you need to make when you're looking at a potential a, a potentially good feed um, and palpability is one of those things palpability is how it feels in the mouth of the animal that you're feeding it to if it has a lot of stems like this one that says palpability has you're going to probably have um, them not take it in as much because obviously at the end of the day it's what the animals eat and how much they take in that's important as far as the total digestible nutrients so you got to get it in them first before it's it kind of counts so this one is relatively coarse stemmed it has a fine amount uh, a, a good amount of of leaf uh, to stem ratio but a little bit too much and this coarseness could lead it to not being eaten as well obviously another palaby issue is this odor um if it's a if it's a mildewy hay and it's, it smells wet and it smells mildewy, chances then they're going to eat it. And if they don't eat it, then of course uh, the, the total digestible nutrients goes out the window. And also the actual mixture of fine versus coarse stems. Also, is it pre-bloom? Is it, is it, is it maybe uh, more mature at, at, at the end where it gets really stemmy? Those are things that, that deal with textures, how it feels in, in the mouth as far as palatability. So palatability has a little bit of odor component. It has a little bit of texture component in it. And um, that kind of determines that palatability piece. Well, I, I hope that I've given you something to go on uh, as far as judging hay. Uh, I hope this has helped you a lot. And um, the next few videos I'm going to be producing is giving you an opportunity to judge some classes. I'll set out some classes, give you some time, and then give, it to, uh, give you a critique at the end. 
Hey, we'll see you all at uh, UC Davis. We'll see you at Chico. And of course, we got a new contest over in Consumers River College uh, that we're putting on. I hope that you'll be there and get an opportunity to talk. I have some pretty good hey guys coming out to, uh, to uh, judge our shows. So uh, thank you very much for listening. If you like it, press a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of them, please hit subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.